right. Well, I can only imagine the people that you have here this weekend. I mean, when I think of your career, of course, it was an extended career, great career, and all of the people that have impacted you, the coaches, the players. I mean, that's a long list of people, and what a weekend it's going to be for you. Well, Troy, you were talking about what an honor it uh, it is for you to present Jimmy Johnson. It, it's an honor for me to have so many teammates coming back for this ceremony. Coaches, uh, got some old rivals, Tom Brady's coming in, sitting in my section. You know, I'm not sure how my Colts teammates will uh, <laughs> handle that, but uh, but that means a lot that he's taking the time and uh, Bruce Arians and just people that have been a part of my football journey for them to take the time to fly here to Canton to be here for this ceremony really means a lot. I look forward to celebrating with them. There's a flag down on the field. We will get the call. After That's the first look. one, isn't it? There's no follow-up play. No, look. Goal to play is second down. That's right. perfect. Okay. Calm Keep down, Pereira. Alive. <laughs> Pereira was supposed <laughs> to spring into action. Pereira's looking for a little more face time yeah. in Trust this me. game. You He's have got no the idea. vest on. He's got the, the three-piece suit. <laughs> That's, a, That's an aggressive play for the uh, opening preseason game, Mike. Yeah. You have no idea how aggressive he is. Let me tell you. <laughs> the fact we're talking about him, he's, he's he loves over the moon it. Right he loves now. it. Uh, hey, congratulations on you're going to do Monday night some games on ESPN like an alternate broadcast with Eli. Yeah, it's kind of kind of like you're watching a game at a bar and me and Eli show up and watch the game with you. It's kind of the, the theme. We're not going to be, you know, in a booth. They said with my forehead and my neck, I couldn't fit in a booth, <laughs> Joe. So I can fit on my couch. Forehead. I can fit in my couch at home and Eli can be on his couch. But we're going to watch football. It was just too good of an opportunity to watch football with your brother, to tell stories, to talk a little football. Um, I, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And you are going to be bringing in some special guests, I understand. That's right, Troy. You're already signed up for the third quarter of uh, week three. You don't know it yet, but I've talked to your agent. But uh, yeah, we're going to have you know all kinds of guests that you know love football, like to talk ball, like to have fun, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Malik Turner made that last catch to uh, set up third down, I believe, as the game is already getting away from us. Third down at three uh, here in Canton. I, I, here's a serious question, though. You went out on top. You won it all with the Denver Broncos. W were we aware of what you were dealing with, with that nerve damage in your neck? Were, were, did you ever really let on all the things you had to put up with? Well, certainly that, that year I got injured, and, and that year of an offseason trying to get healthy and trying to get a new team. You know, you don't want to just tell everything uh, to, the, to the public because you're trying to get healthy and you're focused on that. But uh, Denver was great. Um, welcomed me. Oh, they got a little turnover there. They recovered it. Uh, Denver was great, Joe. They welcomed me with open arms, kind of put in a lot of my Colts plays into the Broncos playbook. That helped in my transition. I never felt like I was the same player as I was in Indy, but I, I still kind of learned to figure out to move the chains and uh, had a lot of fun playing in Denver. Yeah, I think you can probably relate a little bit to, you know, Ben Roethlisberger. That's right. You know, he's coming off of that elbow hurt injury. He played last year, wore down at the end of the season. And in a lot of ways, they're trying to take a little bit of the pressure off of him and running the football, a little bit like what they were able to do in Denver around you. Which is, that, which is exactly what you need at that age. I saw Ben before the game. He, he told me just that, that, he's, uh, that he feels good, that he's adjusted some things uh, at this age and his uh, – a point in his career and um, I could see Ben having a big year this year. Well, it's an honor. It was an honor watching you play and thanks for stopping by. Congratulations. Thank man. you, Joe.